Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to compare four different GNIPs, the Nikko G, the Tachikawa, the Zebra, and the Leonard. And I'll be giving my review on the nib sturdiness, the flexibility on the easiness to do the upward and downward strokes, the contrast between thick and thin lines, font size, the nib smoothness, and how uh, easy to use. And lastly, what's the outcome? Like, is it the same or not? So when just a little bit of background, when I started calligraphy, I did start using a g-nib and more particularly the tachikawa but i have moved away from it since um and in a separate video i will recommend my own preferred um nibs um but i do have to say that personally i do recommend a g-nib um for a beginner mainly because it's strong good for beginner hands and it's easy for you to pick up calligraphy and get started um, it holds a lot of ink and it's easy to see the thick and thin lines so you know um, where you're doing uh, areas that you're doing right and wrong because of these factors um, it takes out a lot of those beginner frustrations and help you kick start your calligraphy career so um so let's get started i'm gonna do i'm gonna start off doing the nikoji which i already have in my um pen holder so i'm just gonna move these away and for our comparison for today, I'm going to write the word Monday and we'll see, um, does, can you tell the difference? And then I'll pr provide uh, my, my review as we go. So now I'm going to do the Nikko G. I'm using Sumi ink. It's, it's very sturdy, easy upward and downward strokes, as you can tell. Very simple to use, no complaints. So now I'm going to move over to the, to the Tachikawa. So I know online there's a lot of questions around what's the difference between Nikko G and Tachikawa? Are they the same? From a font size perspective, yes, it's it's pretty much the same unless like you, you use a magnifying glass and like really pinpoint. The reason why I say it's not um not exactly the same is because the Tachikawa flexes a bit more than the Nikko G. The Nikko G now I can feel that it's sturdier. Tachikawa, it's just a it, it flexes downward um, easier. So therefore, I feel that um, when you see the downward strokes, especially in the Y, you can see that the Y is a little bit bigger. But this can all depend on everybody's hand, like their you know their the, how heavy heavy handed they are is very different. So um, the Tachikawa. As I can say right now, it definitely flexes a bit more easier than the Nikoji. Nikoji is sturdier. I'm going to wash off my nib and then I'm going to do the zebra. Okay, I'm going to go to the Leonard and then I'm going to provide my commentary. Okay. 
my ink. All the ink lobbies. It's not the most easiest nib to use, I have to say, but I do like this one. I don't know if you can tell the difference already. Okay. So, in terms of a G nib, like if you're a beginner hand, and you're trying to find a nib to practice with, I will definitely recommend the Nikko G and the Tachikawa, okay? It's both very sturdy. The Tachikawa, as I mentioned earlier, is just a little bit more flexible in terms of going down, doing the downward strokes. But it, 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 in all grand scheme of things, I don't think that's that it's hurtful for anything. So Nikko G and Tachikawa is, is good to go. The Zebra is more flex to be honest with you the leonard is the most flexible in terms of the g nib but as you can see the writing is very different compared to the nico g this one is the most thickest in terms of like the um the downward stroke lines is much more dramatic compared to the nico g and the tachigawa so as a beginner hand i will not recommend the the leonard it is a little bit hard to use especially because it, it's so flexible so g nib is the most sturdy down to the most flexible in terms of doing the downward stroke okay and because of that when you it might be a little bit hard for you to go back up and do the um do the upward stroke as a very like you know a very hair thin line so it does take a little bit more practice and there is a little bit more ink blobbies and i did try to like thin out my ink earlier and try to play with it and, and it's still causing causing this but it's a very fun nib to use like like i would probably try to do a um comparison between this one and a um hunt 101 versus a blue pumpkin just because it's so dramatic but for a beginner hand if you're looking for a g nib um uh, Niko G Tachikawa as well. If you don't have these two, then I'll recommend a zebra. Um, yeah, they're both, all three of them are very easy to use. They're all very smooth. Um, uh, font size, I already rated it. Um, uh, Niko G and Tachikawa is pretty much similar. Zebra's flexible, is a little bit more flexible than the both of them. So therefore, I think that the, the size, the font size is bigger. You can see from the B downward stroke that it is thicker compared to the tachikawa and the nikoji okay and then the leonard is the most flexible the most dramatic in terms of um the thick and thin lines and you can tell that this stroke the b is thicker than all three of them okay hopefully this is helpful Thank you for watching my video. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions about calligraphy, feel free to leave it in the comments below.